In the figure below, triangle ABG, triangle CDG, and triangle FEG share a common vertex G. Points A, G, and D are collinear. Points F, G, and C are collinear. Points B, G, and E are collinear. Find the following sum. The sum of the measure of angle GAB, the measure of angle ABG, the measure of angle GCD, the measure of angle CDG, the measure of angle GEF, and the measure of angle EFG. In other words, the question wants us to find these sums. This angle plus 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 this angle. And we know that line A, G, D, F, G, C, and B, G, C pass through the same point G. So that's our problem. I have the same picture, slightly enlarged, and I need to find the sum of the measures of the six angles A, right here, B, C, D, E, and F. How do we do that? Well, the sum of this angle plus this angle should equal this angle, Y. If this is X, if this angle is X, this angle here should be 180 minus X, and the sum of these two angles should also be 180 minus X. Therefore, the sum of these two angles should equal this angle. Using a very similar argument, I can say this angle in green plus this angle in green should equal this angle in green. Why? If this angle is A, these two angles should add up to 180 minus A, and this angle alone should be 180 minus A, so they better be equal. Okay, using a very similar argument, I can say this angle plus this angle should add up to this angle. Why? Exact same argument. If this angle is C, these two angles, this angle and this angle, should add up to 180 minus C, and this angle should also be 180 minus C. Therefore, these two blue angles should add up to this big blue angle here. What do we know about these three angles? Let's use light purple to circle this. What about these three angles here? The big red angle, the big green angle, the big blue angle. Well, these three angles should add up to 360, 360 degrees. So, the sum of these three angles should be 360 degrees. Why? Because they are all around a point. Now, the, based on that, we can conclude these two red angles, this one, this one, plus these two green angles, this one and this one, plus these two blue angles, this one and this one, should also add up to 360. So that's the explanation why angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E plus angle F should equal 360.